Well, howdy, y'all. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland once again, looking at you here through the YouTube of the YouTubes. Hey, y'all, I've got a great announcement to make. This here video camera, shout out, VR, whatever you want to call it, goes to a good brother of mine, a good friend of mine, that goes by the name of Brother Youper. That's right, Youper, Brother Youper. And for those of y'all who don't know who I'm talking about, well, you gotta type in his name there, it's Youper Digger number 57. Not number, but 57. Youper Digger 57. And why am I making this announcement? Well, it's very plain to see. He's got a 500 subscription appreciation giveaway going on. So I'm going to make this here a video to shout out to my good friend out there so y'all know to go check him out. And I'm going to tell you right now, the link to the actual 500 subscription giveaway that he's got is in the description box below. Now, I'm not going to go into details, but I'm going to let you know right now. you got to act fast. you got to be responsible. you got to do this. you got to do that. you got to do all these things. Not really. It's real simple. But Brother Youp has got a 500 subscription giveaway. That's right, a 500 appreciation of the 500 sub giveaway. And the last I just saw before I made this video, he is now up to 555. Five, five. Can you count five, five, five? Now, with that being said, I can't believe I said that. Basically, that being said, oh no. Hey guys, check it out. Guys, is there anything safe I can say here on the tubes without getting slapped? But Brother Youp wants to see a VR reply from each and every one of you to get in his contest. He's got some cool stuff going on. And let me tell you something. When I saw that first item he pulled out, and I'm not going to ruin it for you. I want you to go watch the video. But Brother, I like that saw. That folding saw is kind of nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I really do want that saw. I really do. But you know what? I can't believe I'm saying this. Brother Youp... If I happen to win, I want to pay it forward. That's right, Brother Youp. If I happen to win this contest here, I want to pay it forward. In other words, if you'll just do me a favor and just pick another name, that would be so cool. Just one little request. Please don't use that random.org. Nobody likes random.org. It's not real. We don't like random.org. Uh, cut the names up and put them on a piece of paper and draw them out of a straw hat. I don't care if you had to write the numbers down in random order on your toenail clippings. Do something different, please. Now, brother, you, I said I was going to do some cooking out here. So I'm going to have to act serious just a little bit. Mm, just a little bit. You see, today is May 12th of 2016. Kind of a special occasion for me. Mm-hmm, sure is. Well, actually, it's not just uh, May 12th. It's actually what's going to happen tomorrow, which is May 13th of 2016. And, of course, it is on a Friday. Friday the 13th. That happened to be Manland's personal birthday. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. 49 years old, I shall officially turn. And I'm not so sad about that, but it did get me to reminiscing about the good old days. You see, my mama passed away in January 21st of 2016 of this year. And yeah, it's been kind of a sad time. Now, I don't mean to sit there and make this a sad video. Oh, no. None in the least. Uh, it got me to thinking. Uh, I'm turning 49. It got me to thinking about the good old days and took me back to my childhood. And it reminded me of something that I wanted to share with y'all. You see, I'm not the only one that happened to be a survivor of this here Chandler family. I'm the oldest son. My dad is Jerry Chandler. My mama was Lily Chandler. And they had three chillings. I was number one. I was actually planned. <laughs> But my brother and sister were uh-ohs. And then when mama found out she was having twins, she beat the hell out my daddy. 
<laughs> but I got to thinking about the good old days. You see, it happened way back when. We was all just chilling, and Mama went to the grocery store, and she had all three of us in the mohicular. And she said that classic tale that all Mama say to they chilling. She says, all right now, when we get to that grocery store, you're only going to get one box of cereal. So as soon as my mama pulled into the parking lot there at the Sunflower Grocery Store in Bells Only, Mississippi, who happened to be the first little piece of crap that jumps out the vehicle? It was my sister. She is totally one year younger than me. But back then, girls were a lot faster than guys, especially me. Before the car even came to a complete stop, out the door my sister jumped and I'm sitting there stuck inside the vehicle trying to undo my seatbelt. After my brother handed me his pocket knife and I was able to cut myself free, after her I went. And before I can get into the door of the grocery store really good, I heard my sister cackling. <laughs> and lo and behold, just like it was prophesied by God, she grabbed a box of Apple Jacks. Now I don't know about y'all, but I eat every cereal it was ever created by man. And that there was the only box of cereal that I didn't like was that damn Apple Jacks. Before my mama even got in the door of the grocery store, my sister was running up to her. <laughs> mama would say, good, you got the box of Apple Jacks and she throw it in the buggy there. I was standing there, but mama, this is not fair. She always gives the apple jack. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> so brother Uper Digger, 57, and to my sister Tina, this here video is for you. That's right, Tina. It's a box of apple jacks. You know, I'm all grown up now. I've kind of gotten over the, you know, the traumatization you put me through when I was just a wee child. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, that when I go to my sister's house, she's all grown up now, of course, I'm going into each cabinet door and opening up and she's asking me, what am I looking for? And I tell her, I'm looking for that damn box of Apple Jacks. So Tina, here's the box of Apple Jacks just for you. Love you, sister. You know what? Even though those were bad times, in my opinion, <laughs> back in my youth, I look back on it in them days and I think, oh, those were the best of times. So I appreciate it. I really, really do. Love you, sister. You know, family's got to stick together. You know what I'm saying? It means a lot to me. And I hope that one day here, surely you get yourself a box of Apple Jacks just like I have here. I really mean that. Now back to Brother Uper, he wanted us to do a VR reply, and he wanted to see an axe, or a, um, a backpack axe or something. Well, Brother, I ain't got no uh, small axe I put in my backpack, because Ranger Cookie gave me the cookie chopper. So I'm going to take the time to show this right here off. It's actually a miniature K-Bar, if I'm not mistaken. And, ah, ah, there we go. And it's got that little... Uh, I call it a gutter, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a BK-3, or, well, it's a K-Car, K-Bar, BK-3. I call it the Ranger Cookie Cookie Chopper. So I hope that will suffice there for your contest giveaway, your 500 subscription. Man, I appreciate it, man. I, I love you as a brother, and I hope you have lots and lots and lots more success. Uh, I mean, went from 500 to 555, well, that's just mighty daggum impressive. Now for my sister Tina. I love you, darling. You know I do. You're my sister. We always protected you, me and Tony. You and Tony always got into trouble, and I'm the one that told on you. So please forgive me. You know how much I love you. I really do. But I feel like it's time for Manland to take over. You box of Apple Jacks? This is what I really think about you. Damn box of Apple Jacks, huh? You like that, huh? You want this right here? 
<laughs> this is your Applejack. <laughs> this is your boss, Applejack. <laughs> Every brother, you were. I'm going to stop the hell out of you, I hate you, Jack. I hate you with a passion, you Jack of the Apple. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Mr. Jack, and your little apple, too. <laughs> I'm all better now. Yes. After years and years, I finally got that out of my system. <sighs> I feel so much better. You know why? Because now, as an adult, Mama's not around and my sister is no longer with me. I mean, she's still here on this earth. She's just not living with me. I was able to buy, finally, my cereal, Captain Crunch. I love Captain Crunch. He was my hero back in the day. Let me tell you something. Captain Crunch is the bomb, man. Without Captain Crunch, man, there is no better cereal. <laughs> How about it, Tina? You want some Captain Crunch? How about that? Have you some? There's all the Captain Crunch you can ever want. <laughs> Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack, play a song for me, and I'll sing. Play a song for me, Applejack, Applejack, play a song, let your banjo be.